Hello, this is Chip Barkell and Send Out Cards in Toronto. This is my April 9th uh, version of my monthly training. And this month, what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, create a campaign card so you can send it out over and over again, or so that you can um, create, uh, send it out to a group of people, um, populate a group and send the card out. Um, so what I'm going to do is share my screen and go over to send out cards. Um, I normally have a couple of different ways of doing this. I normally create the card first and then I don't um, or have to worry about it. Um, you can also create the campaign and the card at the same time. It's really personal preference. Uh, I'm going to show you the latter. If I click on campaigns, You've got the purchased campaigns on the right, and you have personal campaigns on the left. There's a little pink uh, button for, with a plus sign. That's for creating new campaigns. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to call this one Easter, April 21st, 2019, and click on Create the Campaign. So it's going to ask me to add a card. If I've already created a card, it's just a matter of going and finding the card. Otherwise, I can create the card now. So I'm going to click on the add a card and it's going to bring me to the usual interface for a photo drop, catalog cards, or build your own. In this case, I'm going to click on build your own and I'm going to do a horizontal card. I'm going to click on the horizontal and then customize. This is going to be a two panel card with standard paper. I could do it as a three panel or a really big card. I have all the other options satin and pearl finish. So I'm going to add my photograph here and I've already uploaded some photographs. So I'm going to go here to a uh, picture some calla lilies with happy Easter that I put on there. And I'm just going to move that over just a little bit so the happy Easter shows and maybe just a little bit more so the tip of the flower shows. You can kind of move it around. I'm going to go on the inside of the card. I'm going to click on the uh, icon to the right to add a picture. And in this case, I'm going to make it a full page picture. Click on the camera to add a picture. And I'm going to go and add this picture of this rabbit. Rabbit. It's sort of like them painting American Gothic. My friend Lisa Zadder is an artist in New York, and she loves painting animals in um, anthropomorphic poses, so uh, animals in human-like uh, situations. This is one of my favorite. In fact, when my gray, uh, my gr grandniece was born, I purchased this as a print and had it framed as a gift to my sister, who was her first grandchild. And then on the bottom, I like to add a background color. So I'm going to click on the edge of the background, go to background, and I'm going to choose my own uh, color. Um, this area here is for what's called a hex code. Um, hex code is kind of like a combination to a color. And if you Google, let's say you want light green or sage green, you can Google the hex code for sage green and it'll come up with a number. In this case, the number is B5D3E7. And it's sort of a, a gray blue that I particularly like. I'm going to click on the pencil and I'm going, I'm not going to put in the date like I usually do. I'm just going to say Happy Easter. And on the next line, I'm going to say, wishing you an Easter season full of joy and blessings. All the best, Chip. And I'm going to make that um, a larger font size. And I'm going to change, I particularly like this font that's called Cranky. And what I'm going to do is make Easter a little bit larger. And I'm going to put that on two lines. And where it says chip, I'm going to change that to envelope hand and put it in blue, and make it just a tiny bit larger. Um, so I think that looks pretty good. Um, so again, the front, Happy Easter, and the top, uh, Happy Easter at the bottom, wishing 
we're seeing you. Sometimes my fingers go, wishing you an Easter season full of joy and blessings. All the best, Chip. Um, then I'm going to go to the back. This isn't particularly a great uh, picture for Easter, so I am going to change that to another picture for the back that I've created, and I'm going to use the two eagles. And I'm going to click Add to Campaign. So I started, that's the only difference between creating a regular old card and creating this as a campaign. I started this as a campaign, add to campaign. Now this card will be in my campaign store, or in my campaign library and ready to go out. Um, you can create the card do, you know, whenever you want, go back to your, um, you know, whatever you're doing. And then later on, when you wanna come back to your campaigns, click on my campaigns and you've got uh, the Easter, uh, let me do a search on Easter, because I created the other one first. Easter, 20, April 21st, 2019. So I'm ready to send that. I can open the campaign, send order, create or select the order, and create my campaign. So let's say I wanna send this to just one person, and um, I wanna send brownies or something with it. I could add a gift. And in this case, let me see what I want to add. I'm going to add uh, brownies. And I'm going to send it to a family. Um, so I'm going to send a four pack of standard brownies. Now in this case, I've already got the card. I can edit the card even though it's a campaign for this particular order. And in here, I can make the font size a little bit smaller and I can say Tommy, um, Eric, uh, Tyler, Ah, Scotty, Colton, and Toby. My friend's kids, so I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller. Um, and right there. Tommy, Eric, Tyler, Scotty, and Colton. Uh, happy Easter, all the best, Chip. So I can update it. So that will only go for this particular order. It will not go uh, on the campaign itself. So I've already loaded it, loaded it in. I'm gonna add recipients. And I'm gonna type in their last name, Brent. Oops, spelled it wrong, Brent. And Eric and Tommy, done. And ready to send. So it's gonna say it's a 99 cents for the card because this is a group send. Um, and I have scheduled cards, uh, so I'm, I pay 99 cents for the card and the brownies and then the, the shipping. And then I can hit send. So let's say that's one person. So I could reuse that campaign card and I can go in and say, I want to send that. This time I'm going to send my campaign to a group of people. Oops, let me go back, cancel, I click the wrong thing. So send order, select, create, and add recipients. This time I'm going to click on groups. And I created a group called Easter. And I can, I can view the members, uh, click done, and it's going to show me at the bottom. I'm sending this to 22 people, 22 recipients. Uh, so I can go down and see. If I wanted to add anyone, I could add them. If I wanted to subtract someone from the list, I could subtract someone from the list as well. And uh, that's just a matter of hitting the uh, saving as soon as it comes back ready to send 
I'm going to look at the rest of my list, Lisa, Gail, and I'm sure I've left out somebody, but uh, that's a good start. It's ready to send. And it says, okay, I'm going to send 22 cards at 99 cents. Now, I know I have scheduled cards to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to schedule it and I'm going to send it tomorrow. Um, they're not actually going to print it tomorrow anyway. So if I say they're scheduled for April 10th, it's ready to send. This time I'm using my scheduled sends that I have 33 left. So I've already paid for those cards, so it's crossed out. I'm only going to pay for shipping on these cards. And I'm going to click send. So now I've sent a campaign card to one person, and then I've also sent the same campaign card to multiple people. If for some reason I want to go in and edit any of those cards, I can go to my card history and show pending and scroll down to where the Easter cards are. These are all pending birthday cards for the month of April. And there's a good one I might want to change. So I might want to change this to Cody and Jody and save. Uh, update the address and make sure that I if, see if I want to make any other changes. I can also change individual cards. So if I want to go in and edit a particular card and put a, a note to whoever's receiving it, I can uh, scroll down and just click on edit for this particular one. If I want to put the person's name in here, I could put the person's name. I think I have a little bit of a problem with my spacing. So what I might need to do is go back and um, make a change uh, to all of those cards. Um, what I can also do is So I could go in and change all those cards individually. Um, or what makes more sense is in this case, and it's, it's good to learn how to do these things. Go into what's pending. And I could select all of those cards. So I'm going to um, select this one and this one and this one and so forth. I'm not going to select that one because I fixed that one. All of the cards that came from that group and delete them and, and make sure that the spacing is correct. I should have done that in the first place, but I didn't. So I'm just going to go through my list and go to here. Erica, Giorgio. And I'm going to leave that one. And I'm just going to cancel those cards. So it's canceling 23 cards. Okay. And I want to make sure that the cards that I sent. So I left Tommy out. So I've got two for Tommy and Eric. So I'm going to leave the one for the with the brownies. I'm going to cancel the other one and say yes. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my other campaign. I actually have two campaigns one that I created a few minutes ago and one that I created earlier in the week. So the one that I created earlier in the week seems to be the problem. If I edit the card now, I'm editing the entire campaign, which is what I want to do, rather than the individual um, card that I'd sent individually. So I'm just going to delete that uh, line and maybe delete one more line and play around with the spacing a little bit. 
and take one more out of there. And so forth. So I think everything, rather than say photo credit, I'm gonna say art work credit. And I'm gonna update the campaign. And now I can resend that campaign. I'm just gonna check the spacing, make sure it's all readable. I'm gonna schedule it for tomorrow. Submit. And I'm going to add my recipients. Again, I'm gonna go back to my group. I have an Easter group. Now, Eric and Tommy are in this group as well, and I've just sent them a card. So I'm gonna delete them, click on a little minus, minus sign and delete them from this list. Otherwise they get two cards. And make sure everybody's on my list, ready to send. So I've got 21 cards at 99 cents, which has already been paid for, shipping, and I click send and they're gone. So hopefully that's answered some of the questions on creating a campaign. Uh, you, the campaign could be sent multiple times to an individual person or one time to this group of people, another time to another. It's a, it's a card that you're going to reuse. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm uh, always available um, through the Facebook group. It's never just a card or uh, you can contact me through Facebook directly. I'm happy to answer your questions. If you know of anyone who'd like to start using send out cards, by all means, either refer them to me or I can show you how to become an affiliate and earn uh, some money to pay for your own account. Thanks very much.